Hello, welcome to Way of Weinstein, doing a special Hugh Hefner Remembrance because a few people requested that I do a video on this, so George, Steve, and everyone else that'll watch this, here you go. So, when I think of Hugh Hefner, I think of someone that I really was living the dream, who, when you think about it, is that we would all like to have lived his life, lived to 91, that's, that's a full life. He, and most importantly, he became a billionaire by doing something that I feel like a lot of people love to do. He lived with hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of beautiful women. What he did, I mean, building an empire, a magazine, a website, he became an icon, and that's something that people strive to be. He's someone that I was in popular culture, someone people aspire to be. And my favorite Hugh Hefner moment was back in 2005 when he appeared on an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, The Smoking Jacket, Season 5, Episode 6. So with that particular episode, the episode started with Larry in a children's hospital where this guy Wilson... And Jeff invited Larry to the Playboy Mansion, and he was already in the doghouse with Cheryl, and he took his cousin Andy, and how all the women looked like Larry, that he was like an old grandpa, and they covered up and screamed in horror. So that was funny, and then the whole thing with the with the smoking jacket was that Larry's dad, Shelley Berman, who has also uh, passed away recently, may he rest in peace as well, that Hugh Hefner had the same jacket, he tried it on, and when he went back, like Larry's dad said that that one's the fake, and then like Larry's cousin Andy ended up having sex with a, with a Playboy model, Bobby Sue, and that 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 was great. And how I like Larry said like, no, this this one's the fake, that one's the Roselli, that one's the fake, that one's the Roselli. That was great, and. How, how uh, how Larry was like all frustrated, la being typical Larry, and he said, "I have some business to attend to." Like, what kind of business? Well, he was going to the bedroom, and Hugh did what what Hugh does, and yada yada yada. And I love how the episode ended with how Wilson, the kid in the hospital, like he just wanted to see a naked woman as his wish, and the Make a Wish Foundation wouldn't grant that to him. That. Uh, he happened to see the Playboy model that Larry's cousin was having intercourse with, and for and for that, like he he gave Larry the wish because he got to see a naked woman. And what Wilson wished for was for Hugh Hugh Hefner's smoking jacket, the Roselli. So again, Hugh Hefner was really an icon, someone that everyone wanted to be. And I don't think we'll ever see something like that again. If we do, that'll be something that's I mean, very difficult to achieve. But hey, who knows? There are a lot of people that aspire to be that. Maybe someone will achieve it. But, yeah, let's see. Comments. Oh, what you got, Steve? We're getting the way of Weinstein. Ah, uh, yada, yada, yada. Hold it, everything big, all the locks. The... Oh, thank you for my previous comment. That's a bagel. There's one on fifty on fifty first, on Third Avenue. There's also one on First Seventeenth Street. My favorite bagel in New York. It's fantastic. Order a quarter pound of locks on the side. Control your di locks distribution. More locks. So, again, so join me in about two hours where a very special way of wine scene. I review the season nine premiere of Curb Your Enthusiasm after a six year absence. King David is back. See you in a short few hours. Hope, hope you'll join me. Bye.